With so many methods and vehicles within the stock market, investors find themselves sometimes struggling to find the right strategy and stock or ETF to buy to catapult them into retirement and perhaps if they find themselves lucky enough to even be able to retire early. But what most newer long-term dividend investors fail to realize is that there are easier methods that will get them to where they want to be and with way less risk and less work than traditional stock picking. Now in this video we're going to go through what I think might be the easiest method for dividend growth investors to retire early and I'm going to show you the exact math and method behind this. Now stay tuned because we're going to go through all that and more right after you please drop a like on this video and subscribe for more future content like this. Now the wealth vehicle that I'm talking about here, the easier method compared to single stock picking is the SCHD ETF and I am almost certain that this ETF is going to outperform many new investors individual stock picks for numerous reasons. Now this is because SCHD has a history of long-term capital appreciation, long-term dividend growth, and is well diversified. So there's no need to worry about individual stock picking. But before we go any further, let's dig a little bit deeper into SCHD and see exactly what the ETF has to offer. So SCHD or the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF is an exchange traded fund launched and managed by Charles Schwab Investment Management Group. It invests in public equity markets in the United States. It invests in stocks of companies operating across energy, material, industrial, consumer discretionary, consumer staples, healthcare, financials, information technology, communication services, and utility sectors. It invests in growth and value stocks of companies across diversified market capitalizations. And it invests in dividend paying stock companies. Now, SHD seeks to track the performance of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index by using a full replication technique. Now, right here on the Charles Schwab website, it says that SHD's objective is the fund's goal is to track as closely as possible before fees and expenses the total return of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index. Some of the highlights are a straightforward, low cost, and offering potential tax efficiency. The fund can serve as part of the core or complement in a diversified portfolio tracks an index focused on quality and sustainable dividends, and invests in stocks selected for fundamental strength relative to their peers based on financial ratios. Now, some more quick facts about SCHD. The fund was started in 2011 and has over $48 billion in net assets, making it one of the biggest ETFs across the entire market. The expense ratio is super cheap at just 0.06%, which makes this ETF nearly free to hold on to. Now, SCHD has had a pretty rough start to the year. If we were to look at SCHD's total return, which is including the dividend and share price, SCHD is still down year to date, 1.02%, where the S&P 500 dividend aristocrat is up 5.16%. Now, the concerning part about this, and for good reason, is the fact that the S&P 500 itself is up 18.87% year to date. So when we compare the S&P 500's total return year to date, compared to the S&P 500 dividend aristocrat ETF and SEHD, you can see that the dividend paying stocks have not had a lot of love so far this year. But what's important to note is if you zoom out a little bit and look at over the last five years, the S&P 500 has returned 75%, beating SEHD by a little bit at 71, almost 72%, and the aristocrats have done pretty well over the last five years also, at almost 49% return. Now, because SCHD is up in share price significantly due to the recent overall stock market rally, the dividend yield is unfortunately shrinking just a bit, but right now still SCHD is offering somewhere around a 3.53%, at least trailing 12-month dividend yield. SCHD has a five-year dividend growth rate of 13.92% and has 11 years of dividend growth. Now, one of the main reasons on why I love this ETF so much and why I think it's a better option than single stock picking by far is the fact that this ETF has consistently paid its investors more and more and more, historically speaking, for over the last 10 years or so. Another fun way to look at SCHD ETF's dividends over time is to zoom out a little bit all the way back in 2011, 2012. What's crazy is that SCHD didn't even pay a dollar per share until the year 2014, where the yearly dividend was $1.04. But scrolling all the way up until current day, in 2023, SCHD is supposed to be paying around $2.81 or so. And what's super interesting is that if we were to assume an annual dividend growth rate for SHD of 10.03%, which means the dividend would double every 7.2 years. And again, this is all just an estimation. But if you look at SHD's dividend growth rate over the long term, this ETF has been growing the dividend extremely, extremely fast, relatively speaking, of course. 
So even though the 10 year growth rate is 11, the five year is 12, and the three year is 14, if we use a 10.03% dividend growth rate, we can see that in 2024, investors could assume, again, just an estimation, that SEHD could pay $3.10 in dividends in 2024. In 2025, SEHD could pay $3.41. In 2026, the ETF could pay $3.75 per share. In 2027, $4.13. In 2028, $4.55. And what's pretty cool about this is that the power of compounding really kicks in, which means as the numbers get bigger, they get bigger and bigger, faster and faster. By 2029, in theory, this fund could pay $5 per share per year in dividends. By 2030, SCHD could pay $5.50 per year in dividends. And by 2031, $6.05. 32, we could see $6.66. And by 2033, 10 years from now, SEHD, in theory, if the dividend growth rate stayed at around 10%, which again, isn't necessarily likely or unlikely, we don't really know what's going to happen, but let's just say it was to happen this way, we could see a $7.33 dividend per share from SEHD 10 years from now. So now that we went over SEHD and showed you all that it has to offer and explained why I think it's one of the best ETFs out there and is definitely, in my opinion, one of the best wealth creation vehicles for long-term dividend growth investors that might even want to retire early. Let's go through the dividend calculator and type in all that SEHD has to offer and see what would happen if a dividend growth investor had $100,000 of starting principal purchased into SEHD and had a long time frame ahead of them. So for the dividend calculator, we started with $100,000. The distribution for the dividend is of course frequently drip is turned on, which means all the dividends are going to be reinvested throughout this entire process. Now the annual contribution is going to be zero. We're just going to see what would happen if, if this investor initially invested $100,000 into SEHD and then just let it ride from there and allow the dividends to be reinvested as well as the annual dividend amount increase move up. We have SEHD's initial annual dividend yield at around 3.5% and expect the annual dividend amount increase at 9%, which again, this could be more or less depending on what happens here in the future and expected annual share price increase three and 30 years invested. Let's take a look. So the results are in with just an initial $100,000 invested into SEHD. And again, not another dollar contributed from there. Just allowed the investment to do its thing, reinvest the dividends and allow the snowball to build. This investor would initially see $3,500 or so a year in dividends. Year number two, just with all the dividends reinvested and of course the dividend increase, which SEHD has done consistently. This investor would see 4,700 in annual dividends. Year number three, 153,000 in principal and 6,100 in annual dividends. By year number five, $215,000 already and $9,600 in annual dividends. By year number 10, 422,000 in principal and $25,000 a year in dividends. By year number 15, 761K and $60,000 in dividends. So it took around 15 years for this investor to already receive over $60,000 a year in dividends. By year number 18, in theory, this investor would have $1 million invested in SEHD and over $100,000 annually paid out in dividends. By year number 25, 2.7 million and 388,000 in dividends per year. And by year number 30, in theory, this investor could see $6 million and over a million dollars a year in dividends. And again, keep in mind, this is just going off of our numbers. These numbers could be way less, they could be way more, but just to give you an idea of what an investor could see if they invested $100,000 initially. And this is exactly why I think an ETF like SEHT is one of the best ETFs that investors looking to retire and maybe even retire early should definitely take a look into. So there we have it. There's everything that SEHD has to offer currently. And of course, what would happen if an investor were to invest $100,000 into the ETF and not add another penny, just let the ETF compound and do its thing. The power of compounding is definitely remarkable and the math just constantly amazes me. If an investor stays invested long enough, the numbers just get insanely, insanely big. But I wanna hear from you guys down below. If you were to pick one investment vehicle and invest quite a large sum of money into it from now until retirement, what would that investment vehicle be and why? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like on the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for stopping by guys and I'll see you in the next one.